we're gonna read about a king, Old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Barney blows up, blows bubbles with baby bop, making the sound of bubbles say pop, pop, pop. Why don't you guys try saying that? Pop, pop, pop. That's our, po our nursery ring for the night. Now, I know the octopus is not a fish, but we're gonna learn about this fish. Fish is fish. He's a very colorful fish by Leo Leoni. Wow, look at that. The edge of the woods, there was a pond, and there a minnow. And the tadpole swam among the weeds. They were inseparable friends. Look at that. All right, this is called a tadpole. When he grows up and goes big, he's going to turn into a frog. That's the tadpole. And right here is the minnow, a very, very small fish. They both live in a pond together and they're friends. One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night, he had grown two little legs. Look! He said triumphantly, look, I am a frog. Nonsense, said the minnow. How could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish just like me? They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, frogs are frogs and fish is fish. That's that. Fish is a little bit confused because Tadpole yesterday looked like a fish, but today he's growing legs. And Tadpole is correct. He is going to turn into a frog. In the weeks that followed, the tadpole grew tiny front legs and his tail got smaller and smaller. <gasps> Oh no, take a look at Fish. He's very surprised. Tadpole is changing in front of Fish's eyes. And then one fine day, hold on. Let me admit Sophia and the twins. I think All right. And then one fine day, a real frog now, he climbed out of the water and onto a grassy bank. Oh no. Tadpole is no longer a tadpole, he is a frog. Okay. And frog is leaving fish behind. He came out of the water and into land. Look at him climb up. I wonder how Fish is feeling. The minnow, too, had grown 
and had become a full-fledged fish. He often wondered where his four-footed friend had gone. But days and weeks went by and the frog did not return. There's fish, all grown up too, but all alone. His friend frog hasn't come back. Okay, take out your thumb. Then one day, with a happy splash that shook the weeds, the frog jumped into the pond. <gasps> He's back. Where have you been? asked Fish excitedly. I have been about the world, hopping here and hopping there, said the frog. And I have seen extraordinary things. <gasps> like what? asked Fish. Birds, said the frog mysteriously. Birds? And he told the fish about the birds who had wings and two legs and many, many colors. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds flying through his mind like large feathered fish. What else? asked the fish impatiently. Look at the beautiful imagination fish has. So many different colors. Cows, said Frog. Cows? They have four legs, horns, eat grass, and carry pink bags of milk. Oh, fish is imagining a cowfish. And people, said Frog. Men, women, children. And he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the picture in Fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things, and he couldn't sleep. Ah, <sighs> if he could only jump about like his friend and see the wonderful world. Look what Fish imagines for people. Whoa! All of his imaginations all rolled up into one page, two pages. And so the days went by. The frog had gone and the fish just lay there, dreaming about birds in flight, grazing cows, and those strange animals all dressed up that his friend called people. One day, he finally decided that come what may, he too must see, see them. And so with a mighty whack, his tail jumped clear out of the water and onto the bank. Oh, <gasps> he jumped out. Oh no, I don't think that's safe. He landed in the dry, warm grass, and there he lay, gasping for air, unable to breathe or move. Help, help, he groaned feebly. Oh no, he needs the water to breathe. 
Fish do not breathe like us outside. They use the water to help filter air into their bodies. So it moves around. Oh no. Luckily, the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him and with his strength pushed him back into the pond. Oh, thank goodness Frog is there to help. Still stunned, the fish floated about for an instant. Then he breathed deeply, letting the clean, cool water run through his gills. Now he felt weightless again, and with an ever so slightly motion of the tail, he could move to and fro, up and down, as before. The sun rays reached down within the weeds and gently shifted patches of luminous color. This world was surely the most beautiful of all worlds. He smiled at his friend, the frog, who sat watching him from a lily leaf. You were right, he said. Fish is fish. The end. Wow, fish learned an important lesson, that he is a fish and that is okay. Now our next book is called Not Norman. Not Norman is a goldfish. A goldfish story by Kelly Bennett. Look at all those goldfishes. When I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet. Not Norman. Oh, he got a goldfish for a pet. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings, a soft furry pet to sleep on my bed at night. Not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. And around. This is not nor this is it, Norman, I decided. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move, not even if Finn twitches. How can I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dipping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I have a laugh. Don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blows stream of bubbles. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a real cool dog and seven puppies. Wanna swap one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman, asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, Half of his water is gone. Oh no! 
the drinking out of Norman's bowl. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me all googly eye. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone! Who let my snake loose? <gasps> the snake is out! Oh no! Does anyone find the snake? Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No. They're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman. He's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music lesson. As soon as it's over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. Boom, 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 ba, 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 boo, 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 bee. I glanced over at Norman. He swings back and forth. Gla, blue, blue, glug, he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro and try to play the proper notes. Oh, do you see Norman singing? How cute. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sounded asleep when scream! Scratch! What's that noise? Scratch! Screech! Screech! Yikes! There's something at the window! Then out of the corner of my eye, I spot... <gasps> Uh-oh! Norman! He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs, and snakes and birds, I look at the hamsters and mice and lizards too. They all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. He likes Norman. Yay. When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I could pick any pet, in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him, not Norman. Norman, one amazing fish. How cute. And the end. All right, we have time for one more quick story. And then we pray.
Last time we read Good Night Moon. Tonight we'll read Good Night iPad by Android. A parody for the next generation. Yeah. Time for sleeping. Oh, look at the kitty. In the bright, buzzing room, there was an iPad and a kid playing Doom and a screensaver of hmm. a bird launching over the moon. There were three little nooks with 10,000 books. And a huge LCD Wi-Fi HD TV with BOSS 5.16 remotes and 3D. And a Blackberry ringing with Eminem singing. Yo, yo. And a new Facebook friend and text with no end. And a viral clip of a cat doing flips. And the bings, bongs, and beeps of emails and tweets. And they fed up old woman who was trying to sleep. Okay, that's it. They're not sleepy yet. Wait. Good night, iPad. No! It's time for bed. That means all the electronics need to go sleep each time too. Good night, Doom. Good night, Bird. Launching over the moon. Good night, Nooks and digital books. Good night, Eminem. Good night, Facebook friend. Oh, no. Good night, LOLs. Good night, MP3. Good night, LCD. Wi Fi HD. V. Good night, remotes and Netflix streams, Android apps and glowing streams. Good night, plugs and power lights to guide us to potty in the darkness of night. Okay, everyone, bedtime. Do we have to? Aww. Shh, bedtime. Good night, buzzing. Good night, beeps. Good night, everybody who should be asleep. Good night, pop stars. Good night, MacBook Air. Good night, gadgets everywhere. Sleepy time. The end. That's the last book for tonight. All right, now let's get ready to pray. All right, are we ready? In the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, I thank you for today. Keep me safe throughout the night. Thank you for all the good I did today. I am sorry for what I have chosen to do wrong. Bless my family and my friends. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good job. All right. I'm unmuting so we can say good night and log off. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.